Hello everyone, my name's Cosmarie. Some of you know me as LARP Girl, and today we're going to talk about this summer I'm going to Bicoline. I'm super excited, and I'm most excited about the fact that I get to go with my friend Morgan, or as some of you might know her as Momo. Momo is the princess of the LARP world, and I have sworn to do all I can to protect her, which means I'm going to have to get better in shape and also learn how to actually sword fight. Bicoline has amazing numbers of people that come to their summer event. Talented fighters that actually know how to fight. And I'm actually not that good. So I've taken on HEMA. HEMA is an organization that focuses on learning how to fight like they would in the medieval time period. Or in a specific time period, they get books and we read them and we discover how to interpret them and how to use them in real life. HEMA is amazing. Currently, I'm learning how to use the German longsword, which is really tough because it comes up to here on me really hard to swing. My special treat for you today is that we're going to learn some shield and sword or how some place call sword and board or we're gonna learn some fighting moves that my Norse character at Bicoline is going to be able to use at the event to become a better fighter. Hey everyone uh, we're here in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania a little bit where actually are we? Etna? Etna right Etna. outside. Right yes outside and Pittsburgh. we are here at HEMA to learn a little bit about the sword and board and this is Josh he's our instructor for today Hi. and he's gonna tell us a little bit about what we're gonna be doing. Okay hi uh, I'm Josh Paris from Broken Paw Western Martial Arts in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania or just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're learning a little bit of sword and buckler. Uh, taken basically from some of the medieval manuscripts uh, and we're just going to kind of do uh, the basics. What does HEMA stand for? HEMA is Historical European Martial Arts. Uh, some people call it Western Martial Arts. Uh, basically it is the art of Mars, so anything coming from the European culture, uh, dating back to Greece, Rome, that type of thing, and then uh, moving on to today, which basically translated into uh, <laughs> Olympic fencing. Awesome. And so what do you do here? Um, what's your specialty? Uh, you have just drawer mods that you have? Yeah, actually, uh, well, Broken Plow is, uh, is uh, based in the German art form. Um, and then uh, the subsidiary of Broken Plow is my own company where I create uh, protective gear for historical European martial arts, and that's Destroyer Mods. Awesome. Well, let's get started. <laughs> cool. Uh, you'll actually be wearing some Destroyer Mods Yay! today. Yay! Uh, okay, so what we're using today um, is basically a single-handed sword okay. or an arming sword. Oh, wow, this is heavier than I thought it was. Yeah, the pommel's uh, weighted pretty well, so you get an accurate depiction of the balance on the blade. The pommel, the grip, the guard, and the blade, the blade is broken down into basically uh, two sections. You're going to have the weak of the blade and the strong, excuse me, the uh, strong of the blade and the weak of the blade. Um, those are going to be about two thirds and a third. The sweet spot on the blade for your cutting is basically going to be that last third. Uh, and then you have what is called the true edge and the false edge. The true edge follows along the front of the sword with the knuckles and the false edge is on the back of your thumb. Oh wait, so these cut people? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and you're also going to be using your buckler okay. today. The fighting stance is going to be weight distributed kind of evenly between your feet, same as you would for the long sword. Uh, you want to be on the balls of your feet. I do um, more of a boxer stance than a traditional 90 degree, but okay. that's personal preference as far as I'm concerned. Uh, whatever gets you in and out, you want to do as fast as you can, uh, as balanced as you can. With the buckler, while it is a shield, it's not a close-up, bashy kind of brawl and shield. Um, what you're doing with the buckler is you're playing with the angles. Okay. So uh, the buckler should be out in front of you. Uh, your elbow should have a slight bend to it, so you don't want, yeah, that's good right there. And uh, what you're doing now is you're creating space where this blade can't get to you because of the angle. And so, what's a good position to have it in? The buckler itself is straight out like that. Okay. That is exactly right. Are we trying to block them from getting my face and like... Well, you're chest? basically working with your vitals right here, so it's going to be... So it doesn't get into your line of sight. You don't want to You don't want to blind yourself. You don't want to have a, a shot coming you can't see. So a little bit below your line of sight, and then in front of it will be considered like your chest area, your vital area. Okay. What you don't want to do is overreact with the blood. All you're going to do is if I were to throw a shot coming in this way, is just ever so slightly. Because you're already basically blocking I can't get to you, you know, that type of thing. So, if I were to come in the same way this way, just a little bit, correct. Now, if I were to come in low, you don't really want to block low because I'll put it right in your thigh. Would I kind of... Mm -hmm. You wouldn't use it at all. You, you, you would start to okay. use your sword in that position. Okay. So you want to put your sword out here, kind of like below your buckler, okay. and then where you can still maneuver it. So put this up a little bit higher, right there, and that's perfect. 
So if I were to put it low, you would just block with your sword. Correct. Okay. What that's going to do is keep you from getting stabbed in the thigh or the shit. Now, if I were to come in at the head, you can use the buckler or you can use the sword. It's two different motions. If I come in at your head, you can raise your buckler. Okay, but now can you see me? Yep. Okay, excellent. So what you want to do is as you raise your buckler, you want to step offline and look. There we go. Okay. Don't move the shield. You just want to look behind it. Okay. Yeah, so you're here. So now you can see me, right? Yeah. So now you can bring it this step. Right, perfect. You can also use the sword. So if you're coming in, you're just going to basically hit, and you're going to just deflect with the sword. Correct. That's going to get it offline all second. All you're going to do is basically move the sword ever so slightly. Right. If I come towards the head, remember to step out. There you go. If, I, if you want to not use the buckler, just use your sword, just block the sword. Good. Now if I'm coming low, same thing. Oops, block it out. <laughs> Works just really way. Good. It's the most efficient movement you can get to. Uh, and that's the basics of the defense with the buckler. Okay. Obviously, it gets a lot more you know, detailed as you, as you delve into it further as you practice the study of the martial study. What kind of uh, buckler are we using? Actually, this is just a cold cool steel buckler, so it's okay. like a polymer resin type deal. Yeah. Is this like a, a punch buckler? Or yeah, it's the same idea. Yeah, it's got the, uh, the boss and then just about three inches of material. Now, as far as striking is concerned, uh, you are going to be able to do a strike, a strike, that type of deal. Okay. You can also do thrusts. Okay? So what the thrusts are going to do is basically the same thing. Right, you're going to thrust, you're going to thrust, whichever you want to. Now, with this, um, if you notice, if you put your arm out and you put your sword out, this always points, if you leave it kind of around the circumference of the shield, it always points, it always points kind of towards the end. That's so like your target. A yeah, it's a yeah. nice, easy way to remember. It's got to go in there somewhere. Because okay. you don't want to be out here. There's no point. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you keep it with that extended and your palm will out, that basically always puts you yeah. in a position to attack. Okay. And from there, then you start doing your cuts. From here, you can come up and really thrust that type of deal. <laughs> so after that, it's just a point of just playing it. To really actually mix up with the angles, and you know what you want to do, and then reading the manuals. Reading the manuals. <laughs> very, very. That's basically it. Awesome. We're going to beat each other up a little bit. I'm nervous to beat okay. each other up. <laughs> you, mask and you can wear the Destroy Maz gear. Sweet. Okay. Alrighty. So just, just put on my right head. Okay. This doesn't really go with my ponytail. There we go. Defends 
your vitals, the angle doesn't allow a blade to come in for the straight shot. If you're gonna block, it's subtle movements is all you need. If you're blocking up, you're out of the way so you can still see. If you're blocking down, use your sword. Okay. That's about it. Nice. Awesome. awesome. Thank Good job. you for letting me learn sword and board. No problem. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for doing it. Well, thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks for filming. Um, if you guys want more information on Broken Plow on Hema, you can look us up on PittsburghSwordFighters.com. Uh, and that'll get you any information on the group and local Hema affiliations, things like that. Um, also, thanks for taking a look at Destroy Mods. It's a cool company, if you like it. Go on to DestroyMods.com and get uh, some more information on the products. I hope you guys enjoyed my sword and board introduction course and got to see me looking silly out there at the gym learning how to be a better fighter. I can't wait to give you more progress updates on my trip to Bicoline with the Voyage North. I'm excited to go, I'm excited to see my friends, and I can't wait to take you guys there with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave your comments below. I want to hear about your interactions at Bicoline, how you prepare for LARP. Remember, I'm here to help my fellow role players get a little live action, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.